Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Implement DHCP version 4. And we can see this uh, packet tracer activity is the same like our uh, previous uh, packet tracer activity. Uh, the difference is they did not give much commands uh, here. Okay, we will uh, do this configuration. Before that, friends, if you like to get any CCNA version 7 online classes or any project or technical supports, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video okay now we are back to our packet tracer here we can see our addressing table it's the same like our uh, previous uh, packet tracer activity yeah uh, i mentioned already uh, here we can see the objectives we have to configure a router as a dhcp server then we have to configure a dhcp relay then configure a router as a dhcp client Okay, I just we will go through the scenario. As the network technician for your company, you are tasked with configuring a Cisco router as a DHCP server to provide a dynamic allocation of addresses to clients on the network. You are also required to configure the Edge router as a DHCP client so that it receives an IP address from the ISP network. Since the server is centralized, you will need to configure the two LAN routers to relay DHCP traffic between the LANs and the router that is serving as the DHCP server. Okay, coming to our topology, here we can see this router R2 and we will make this router R2 uh, as a DHCP server and we will set the DHCP relay in this uh, routers R1 and R3. Also, we will enable DHCP uh, in this router R2. Uh, for the interface uh, g0 slash 1 so that this interface will receive the ip address from the isp okay we will uh, go through the instructions and we will configure these devices part one configure a router as a dhcp server configure the excluded ip before addresses configure r2 to exclude the first 10 addresses from the r1 and r3 lands all other addresses should be available in the DHCP address pool. Now coming to our topology, we have to exclude uh, first 10 addresses from this uh, R1 LAN. Uh, that means uh, we can see this uh, network address 192.168.10.0/24. That means uh, here they mentioned 10 address. So uh, it's from 10.1 to 10.10. .10. Also, um, we have to exclude from this uh, R3 LAN, that is 192.168.30.0. We have to exclude uh, 30.1 till 30.10. Okay, we will do that. Coming to R2, we will go to CLI. Now it's more visible. Enable conf T, we will give IP DHCP then we have excluded list so just i'll put a question mark and here we can see excluded address dash address so here i'm not going to use any shortcuts because uh, uh, sometime uh, beginners may confuse uh, so here i will type the enter commands then we have to specify uh, the low ip address so just put a question mark so that we can see what is next low IP address so we will uh, configure this first 192.168.10.0 we will give that low IP address here 192.168.10.1 space again we put a question mark then we have to specify high IP address 192.168.10.10 okay again we will exclude 10 IP addresses from this uh, R3 LAN. So we can do that. IP DHCP excluded address 192.168.30.1 till 
uh, 30.10 right yeah that's right oh so here one dot we give an extra so now it's correct now we will go to step 2 create a DSCP pool on R2 for the R1 LAN create a DSCP pool named R1 LAN the pool name must match this value in order um, for you to get credit for your configuration okay so uh, we will uh, set this pool name as per this instruction and we have to consider uh, this case sensitive also then configure the DSCP pool to include the network address, the default gateway and the IP address of the DNS server. We will create this uh, DSCP pool named R1-LAN. So here we can do that. IP DHCP pool, it's R1-LAN. Correct. Okay, then press enter. Then we will uh, specify its uh, a network address so I will put a question mark and we can see the commands we can use here we can see we can specify the network 192.168.10.0 also we have to specify its a to mask network mask it's here then press enter also we can set default router so we have to give this command default dash router it's 192.168.10.1 we can verify that from our topology or from our addressing table so for this network the ip address i mean the default gateway will be the ip address of this interface that is g0 slash 0 in this router r1 we will go to our addressing table and here we can see r1 g0 slash 0 and here we can see its ip address so this is what we set here default router now we have to set it's a dns server so this will get from our addressing table here we can see that 192.168.20.254 we will set that 20.254 it's right then press enter in the same way we have to create a dcp pool on r2 for the r3 lan okay just i will close this and here we can see uh, r3 lan uh, so we will uh, create a pool for this r3 lan here we can see its uh, network address 192.168.30.0 and we have to do that configuration in the in that uh, dscp server that is r2 correct also we have to configure the dscp pool to include the network address the default gateway and the ip address of the dns server and one more thing you have to keep in mind here in this activity we have to configure this specified pool name and it's case sensitive uh, it's uh, for you know uh, uh, credit for your configuration but you know you can uh, create your own uh, dscp pool name and uh, only that should be uh, meaningful that's all okay so we will do this configuration in this uh, router r2 okay and uh, we will exit from this dhcp configuration then we will create ip dhcp we will create the pool name it's r3-lan i'll verify that r3-lan yeah then we will give it a network 192.168.30.0 then it's a mask okay also we have to set its uh, default router it's uh, 192.168.30.1 uh, we can verify that the default gateway for these uh, devices will be the ip address of this interface that is uh, g0 slash 0 in this router r3 even we can verify that from our uh, router the ip address we can verify from our addressing table 
R3 G0 slash 0 here we can see it's 192.168.30.1 so uh, this is a default route is correct press enter also we will set DNS server it's 192.168.20.254 Now it's the time to move to part 2, configure DHCP relay. Configure R1 and R3 as a DHCP relay agent. Okay, we can do that. So we have to go to uh, these uh, routers. Uh, first of all, we will go to R1. Then we have to go to this interface that is uh, G0 slash 0. And we have to set the IP helper address, right? Okay, so we can do that. Click on R1, CLI. enter enable conf t and we will go to that interface that is g0 slash 0 and i will check that command uh, helper address so we will try with ip helper address then we have to specify the ip destination address okay here uh, to the DCP server the address is uh, we have to specify the IP address of this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, which will um, take to the DCP server so we will get that IP address uh, from our addressing table r2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 here we can see that address either we can copy it or you type it oh, sorry we have to go to r1 right yeah just paste here so here we have to give this command ip helper dash address 10.1.1.2 so uh, whenever that dscp request come to r1 this r1 will uh, forward that uh, request uh, to this uh, interface 0 0 slash 0 slash 0 and it will go to this dscp server next we will go to this router r3 and we will uh, set ip helper address coming to r3 cla uh, we have to go to this interface right that is g0 slash 0 enable conf t we have to go to the interface g0 slash 0 and we have to set the ip helper dash address so what is the address uh, the ip address of this interface that is uh, serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, in this router r2 uh, we can get that from our addressing table it's here 10.2.2.2 uh, .2 okay we will give that address here then enter in step 2 uh, set pc1 and pc2 to receive ip addressing information from uh, this uh, dscp server uh, that is uh, from this router r2 okay we can do that we will go to uh, pc1 i can go to desktop ip configuration and click on dhcp and you can see uh, dhcp uh, request successful and it's assigned this ip address 192.168.10.11 uh, because uh, uh, from 1 to 10 we given in excluded list uh, so it's uh, start from 10.11 we can see the to mask it's a default gateway and it's a dns server also we will go to pc2 uh, desktop ip configuration then click on dhcp and uh, requesting dhcp request successful 30.11 it's uh, to mask default gateway and a dns server Now coming to part 3, configure R2 as a DHCP client. Okay, so here we can see uh, this interface uh, that is uh, uh, G0 slash 1 is uh, down. Uh, we have to configure uh, this interface. I mean, uh, we have to, um, this R2 we have to configure as a DHCP client. So that this interface G0 slash 1 will receive the IP address from the ISP. Okay, I will show that. Uh, click on uh, r2 we will go to r2 and uh, we will end here i will give a show command show ip interface brief and we will verify this interface so that is uh, uh, g0 slash 1 
here we can see gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see ip address is not assigned and we can see status administratively down so here uh, we are going to get the ip address with the help of dscp server and that dscp server uh, is in this internet okay so i will do that we will give a conf t we will go to that interface interface it's a g0 slash 1 so we know how to set the ip address it's ip address so here we are not going to give the ip address manually instead we are going to give the command dhcp get the ip address from the dhcp server okay uh, then press enter so uh, after some time this uh, interface will get the ip address from the um, you know dhcp server uh, from the isp uh, also we have to activate this interface right so we have to give a no shutdown command coming to our topology here we can see that the link between this router r2 which is connecting to the internet is uh, active uh, so here we can see the color is amber oh yeah now it become green uh, or uh, you can uh, press on this uh, this uh, uh, fast forward time so that uh, no, it will become green faster and after a couple of moment you can verify uh, this interface so just to give end command and here we can see a message we received a message interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 assigned dhcp address and we can see that address 209.165.200.254 and with the mask 255.255.255.224 and with the hostname r2 okay we even we can verify with the show command show ip interface brief and uh, here we can see the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 its ip address and here we can see the method it's a dhcp status up protocol also up activate the interface yes we done that and this interface uh, received the ip address now uh, this uh, network is uh, fully converged and uh, ready to uh, communicate so now we will test this end to end connectivity uh, we will ping from pc1 to this uh, pc2 we'll go to pc1 command prompt and we will uh, ping to that pc ping 192.168.30.11 and uh, we may get one or two request timed out and here we can see we get the reply even we will uh, try to ping to uh, any of this uh, server so coming to our uh, addressing table here we have a dns server address so we will uh, ping to this uh, dns server from pc1 so here we will give the address ping 192.168.20.0 254 and we are waiting for the reply see it's working uh, we got one request timed out it's uh, due to convergence uh, just press up arrow from keyboard again and so that you will get the previous command be given again press enter we are going to ping to the dns server and here we can see we get the reply okay so friends in this video we discussed uh, this packet tracer activity implement dhcp version 4 now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this video please comment below or uh, you can contact uh, our team using our website link you will get from the description below and also if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends Stay tuned for the future videos. Thank you.